Thank you for staying with us on MTV Lifestyle today. We're talking about an organization known as Akili Dada that aims to mentor young women and give them the best resources possible to enable them to reach their optimum potential. And Akili Dada is, um, you know, six women coming together, I believe, three from Kenya, three from the U.S. And today we have the founder here with us. We shall be speaking to her as well as one beneficiary from the Akili Dada Mentorship Organization. And so um, Dr. Wanjiro Kamal Rutenberg, who's the founder, thank you very much for coming, as well as Angela War, who's been a beneficiary of this. Um, Dr. Tari? <laughs> it's good to have you. You split your time between here and the uh, and the U.S. quite a bit. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Tell us about how Akili Dada came to be um, and what was the idea behind it. Um, I the idea behind Akili Dada is really to to pay it forward. Um, I've been tremendously fortunate to mm -hmm. be the beneficiary of scholarships mm -hmm. for my education. Mm -hmm. um, from my undergraduate education, my master's and my PhD. Mm -hmm. And by the time I was doing the research mm -hmm. uh, for my doctoral work mm -hmm. here in Kenya, mm -hmm. I knew it was time to to, to start paying it forward. Okay. And so uh, those are the more personal origins of Akili Dada. Mm -hmm. um, the, there's a much larger story, which is about a group of women mm -hmm. um, coming together to pay it forward together and to build a sisterhood. Okay. That Dada okay. and sisterhood. All right. So three Kenyan women, three American women. Yes. How did you now identify um, everybody else who probably shared the same vision as you for Akili Dada? Well, I heard somewhere once that um, this was in reference to a business that the people who kind of help with starting a business are really friends, family, and fools. Right. <laughs> right. And so um, we've we've cut the fools out, but we did a lot. Of, uh, <laughs> we got a lot of support from mm -hmm. from friends and certainly from all our families who've who've really been part of the journey. It was okay. it was essentially a lot of friends okay. coming right. together. Okay, yes. so you come together, you yes. form a Kili Dada, and you decide we're going to be able to help young girls. Um, tell us what it is you do for the young girls, this mentorship, the scholarships, and then of course how you identify them mm. and decide this one's worthy, this one should be on the list. Um, as the best way, I think, to explain what a Dada is, mm -hmm. is a leadership incubator. Mm -hmm. We have a very strong focus on leadership. Mm -hmm. And so the, the, the question that we're trying to, to answer is really, where's the next generation of this country and this continent, mm -hmm. women leaders coming from? And what are we doing now mm -hmm. to make sure that they're coming down the, okay. down the pipe? Right. And so, Towards that, towards that end, the first thing that we do is offer scholarships, mm -hmm. um, and we give full scholarships mm -hmm. to really bright girls from underprivileged families okay. across Kenya, right. from Lodwa to Mukurupanjenga okay. across Kenya. Okay. Uh, the second thing that we have is a mentorship program mm -hmm. where we really believe in learning from others, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and that, that sisterhood, that collaborative okay. community. Right. And thirdly, we have a leadership training program mm -hmm. that's really rooted in community service. Mm -hmm. Really thinking that, believing that leaders, charity begins from home, right? Mm -hmm. Leaders are formed from experiences that they gain. Okay. All right. Tackling local issues. Okay, so it's scholarships, mentorship, mentoring, and then le leadership, um, leadership training. And part okay. of the leadership training is also self-reflection. Mm -hmm. Also, think believing that leaders stop to take stock of where they've been, where they are, and where they're headed. Okay. All right. Brilliant. Scholarships. Um, at what age do you hope to identify the girls? Um, what's the age limit? What's the criteria? Mm -hmm. um, and, and tell us how you, you get the scholarships for them in the first place. Yeah. I imagine it must involve a lot of partnerships with, with several organizations. Tell us about that. Absolutely. Uh, scholarships are, are the most expensive thing that we do, and we're mm -hmm. constantly looking out for new partners, for mm -hmm. new supporters. Mm -hmm. um, because of limited resources, the way that we, we do this is we start off, we, we've established relationships with three schools now. Mm -hmm. We started with one, then two, then a third. We're Precious Blood Riruta, mm -hmm. we're at the Kenya High School, and we're at Loreto Limuru. Mm -hmm. um, and so we go to the schools and we ask them, which of the scholars, the, the young women in your school, who are performing really well mm -hmm. are on the verge of dropping out mm -hmm. if someone doesn't come in and pay school fees now. Okay. And so they then put forward names 
from the those students are then invited to apply so they they submit an application okay. th we vet the applications we then have a very rigorous interview process mm -hmm. um, and make our selections okay. from there all right angela how did akili dada find you how did you find akili dada um, first of all i had to apply through my principal mm -hmm. for a sponsor because i was in need of school fees what school were you in i was in precious blood Rota. Okay. So when I applied for a sponsor, a clip that I came in, because mm -hmm. we had to write an essay, and you have to ha say how your academics are, mm -hmm. who you are as a person, and where the need is. Mm -hmm. So when a clip that I came in, they had to get the, those cases from our principal, right. and go through them and look at the needy, but the ones that really deserve the scholarship, because there are so many students, so they had to yeah down to like narrow ones that okay. really really need the scholarship right at what point um in high school were you when when you made this application i was in form one. Oh, okay yeah. right at the start huh? yeah all right so tell us then you were selected and they were able to pay your fees throughout high school throughout high school from form one i had some fee balances mm -hmm. um they paid my fees throughout high school i just was go to school and study Wow. That's all. What was the, your reaction like when you found out that you had been selected? Like you said, <laughs> mm -hmm. there were many. Um, yeah. And you know, you're writing this essay about yourself and why you think you deserve the scholarship. Mm -hmm. how, did, how did it feel when you discovered that you were put on the list? And what do you think it has done for you now? Oh, I was very happy. I was very happy because, you know, a lot has been removed off my shoulder because mm -hmm. I knew now I could study. The only thing I could focus on is my education because everything has been catered for. Mm -hmm. So to me, it was, it was just a blessing okay. to sum it all up. It was a blessing to right. my life. Okay. Yeah. So you finished high school? Yeah. What grade did you get? I got an A minus. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> Very good girl for all the effort that was put in. Yeah. Excellent. And we'll be talking about your future plans mm -hmm. and, you know, what you hope to do. Okay. Um, but, you know, th this is really good. So where do you get the funds to pay for, for Angela's uh, fees and so many of the other girls that you have mentored over? Well wishes. We are constantly reaching out, mm -hmm. constantly reaching out to well wishes. Mm -hmm. um, as, as you mentioned, I split my time between here and California. Mm -hmm. I actually have a day job okay. as okay. <laughs> to pay the bills <laughs> right. as a professor at the <laughs> yes. University of San Francisco. So uh -huh. this is out of passion and all of us who are doing it okay. are doing it out of passion. Okay. And just reaching out to people who believe in, in, in the vision, who believe that young women like Angela absolutely de deserve the chance, deserve the opportunity. And it's an, it's an optimistic story. Yes. It, really, it really is. Right. Especially um, in, in, a time, in a time where the news is, is full of yes. a lot of depressing, right. de depressing things going on. Right. It's, it's wonderful to work in a space of hope okay. and, and to, to say, yes, there's need for massive reform mm -hmm. to make sure that all students mm -hmm. have access to quality education. Um, in the meanwhile, it's wonderful to be able to make a dent in yes. some of that. Okay. And like you mentioned, it isn't only up to the government. I think for everyone else who can yeah. do something, um, perhaps this would be the venue for that. How many girls have you been able to help out through Akili Dada so far? In total, this year we're working with 43 young women. So 43? 43, 43, yes. Okay. And so and this is both across the gamut. We say once you join Akili Dada, you are a part of the sisterhood. Mm -hmm. And so young women like Angela and other alumni, high school alumni, are mm -hmm. still part of the Akili Dada family. And we, we want to walk with them okay. All right. through, throughout. Okay. So. The, the fundraising that you would do um, for a project such as this, like you rightfully mentioned earlier on, the scholarships is the most expensive because it's a full scholarship for yes. Angela and, and girls like herself. You pay for everything. Mm -hmm. And for, there's a lot of young women with fee balances in mm -hmm. school. And mm -hmm. so we cater for that as well. Mm -hmm. Once we, the, and the idea behind this is to say, we're investing in you. Okay. And on the day we select scholars, I tell them, today is your IPO. We have bought <laughs> shares. We need to see yes. We need to see the benefit at the right. end of it. Right. Um, and that's going to come in terms of your service to your community. Indeed. But today is your IPO. Okay. We're buying shares in you. 
pay it forward. I like you that. pay it forward to other people. Okay. So once you take them through school, you mentioned that there is the mentorship program and the leadership training. Tell us about um, the mentorship program, for example, how that works. So we're reaching out again uh, to women in Kenya mm -hmm. who want to again this mantra of paying it forward who want to come alongside a young woman like Angela mm -hmm. like the 43 42 other women that mm -hmm. we're working with um, and say I want to walk with you I want to stand shoulder to shoulder with you okay. and so there's different levels of mentoring um, for the young women who are currently in school we have visits so they get visited okay. as a mentor you would go to visit right. your mentee at uh -huh. each one of the schools okay. um, you, attending our annual conference uh -huh. which we just concluded yes um, in at the end of July yeah. um, and also we because we are very conscious of giving full scholarships mm -hmm. we raise funds especially from our mentors mm -hmm. to do shopping for these young women okay so okay. we've had cases where you're in school, you need sanitary towels, mm -hmm. things as simple as soap, yes. toilet paper, toothpaste. Right. Right. So right. those are some of the things that we ask our mentors to come in and, and let's do this together. Okay. I mean, it's, uh, I'm really keen on collaborating. Let's do this together. Let's reach out to our younger sisters mm -hmm. together. Okay. Um, Angela, you, you were mentored? Who was your mentor? <laughs> My mentor, uh, she was called Moni, uh -huh. and she's an accountant. Uh -huh. And we still have a relationship up to today. Right. The, you know, the good thing about Akili Dada is that it's not about high school only. Uh -huh. When you complete high school, you're still a dada. Okay. So once a dada, always a dada. dada. That's our motto. Right. So in as much as you've completed your high school education, you still get access to mentors. Uh -huh. You can have... You can they have you can talk to them anytime and they're there for you. So that's the good thing about it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So um, I like that once a dada, always a dada, and it's really important. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel in any way? How has this changed your life? Let's just start by that. Your fees has been you know has been paid. You've gone on to high school. You've done a really good job. Mm -hmm. How has this changed your life? And of course, um, your visions now for the future. What do you plan uh, going forward? Okay, uh, the fact that my fees were paid, first that was just a burden on my shoulder mm -hmm. completely. Then I liked, first of all, I liked their programs. Mm -hmm. The fact that they offer scholarships, mm -hmm. leadership, and mentorship. That's very important because if you look at other organizations that offer scholarships to students, they mainly fake focus on your school fees payment only. Okay. But this one goes an extra mile where they offer uh, mentorship mm -hmm. and leadership programs. Mm -hmm. So in it, I grew as a person. Mm -hmm. I developed my leadership skills. Okay. I got focused on what I want to do. The fact that I had mentors mm -hmm. who would advise me on different aspects in life got me focused on what I want to do and what I want to achieve in life. And the fact that you had community service made me know how to give back to the community. Because mm -hmm. it's not all about yourself. There's so many things you can do to the community. And it opened my eyes in that direction. Okay, yeah. all right. What are your plans for the future? A minus, obviously, you have a lot of <laughs> options. Yeah. So right now I'm a student at University of Nairobi and I'm pursuing a degree in commerce. Good. Yeah, so I want to, I'll major in finance or accounts, mm -hmm. and I'll definitely work with United Nations. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, I like that. W what does this mean for you when you sit here and you, you hear Angela's story and, and so many other um, girls? What does this mean for you personally? It makes me optimistic. As a Kenyan, mm -hmm. it makes me optimistic for this country. It makes me optimistic for where we're going mm -hmm. as, as a country. Mm -hmm. um, I, if, 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 if Angela and all the other young women, mm -hmm. the 42 other young women, and many more to come, are able to, to do what, what they want to, mm -hmm. what they choose to do with mm -hmm. their lives, and mm -hmm. I think that's important, what mm -hmm. they choose to do with their lives. Okay. Um, because uh -huh. for us, it's not to tell you, we want you to yes. do this, yes. it's to, here's a key. Okay. Open. financial mm -hmm. the financial component of what you need to of, of the school fees is taken care of right now ask yourself how are you living your life mm -hmm. for whom are you living your life mm -hmm. and how are other people benefiting for your life mm -hmm. if we can have a, a, a generation of young women a cohort of young women who ask themselves that mm -hmm. I think I think 
we'll be good. Okay. Oh, we'll do well. <laughs> okay. And I've, I've always kind of tried to um, to live in such a way that it's wonderful to be the first person to enter a space, to mm -hmm. open a door. Yes. But you shouldn't remain the only one. Okay. I think something's missing if you're the only person. Okay. Yes, it's important to open up doors for other young women that you have. Um, let's talk about women in leadership for just a moment. I think that's the greatest focus in the country at the moment. There's a new constitution. Everybody's mm -hmm. feeling excited. We are pushing forward for women. Um, what is your take on women in leadership? Do you think they have been denied perhaps because of lack of funds and, you know, like you say, getting the right key that opens up the door? What is your take on women and leadership in Africa and in Kenya in particular? Sometimes, sometimes the more the more you spend time you spend engaged in a space, the the more the complexities. Mm -hmm. um, I respect the complexities of of, of the challenges. Um, I've had people come up to me and say, "Oh, what about the boys?" And 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 mm -hmm. this is this is also this is something that's you know that we should. That, that's, a, that's of concern. But if you look at the numbers mm -hmm. across this country, if you look at how many women sit in parliament, mm -hmm. you look at how many women head up parastatals, mm -hmm. you look at how many women head up community uh, development organizations, mm -hmm. CDF, right. right? If you look at how the p proportion of women mm -hmm. who are in decision making uh, positions, we have a ways to go and so there's a complicated myriad of factors okay. that go into that but okay. we have a ways to go and actually that is one way right. of trying to address the issue because okay. many other people are doing many other things okay. about it all right the difference when do you think it becomes overpowering feminism I mean, you're six women who are heading up Achilles <laughs> Dada and you're helping young girls and, you know, girls taking over the world. Um, <laughs> and, you know, at this you point, know, you nobody know. ever sits and complains, my goodness, why is this is a taking over of the men and mm -hmm. why do we have six men doing this? Uh -huh. And you look at the directorships of companies across this country, nobody's complaining that the men are taking over. <laughs> you get a group of women together, oh my oh, goodness. Yes, we have a problem. <laughs> I mean, I think, for me, it's about balance. Okay. It's about balance. Um, as the mother of a son mm -hmm. and as a woman myself, mm -hmm. we need balance. Okay. So, uh, right. for me... And Akili Dada hopes to bring that... To work towards that. Okay. Not to, I mean, okay. we're not the only ones who will bring that about, mm -hmm. but we're contributing towards that balance. Okay. Overpowering feminism? No. Uh, okay. Good. <laughs> no, just <laughs> needed to put that out I, there. I mean, I, 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 I am a feminist, mm -hmm. and I, I believe. I mean, if, to the extent that feminism is about women have a right to live just like men do. Okay. Enough it's, it's, it's not a controversial. Okay, okay, I'll leave it at that. Let's move on to the conference that you had earlier this year. Um, is this something that happens annually? Um, you usually, this is where you raise the funds um, that, that helps um, the young girls. Tell us about that and um, perhaps even how other people can can come in and help. So the conference is actually not a fundraiser. Okay. This year we had the tremendous uh, good luck and good fortune of having Resolution Health step up to be our corporate sponsor. Mm -hmm. And it's essentially put the con uh, footed the bill for okay. the conference, okay. which is tremendous. Mm -hmm. What we do at the conference is bring together all our stakeholders. We bring together our scholars, our mentors, um, the Kili Dada's team, mm -hmm. both from the US and from Kenya, mm -hmm. parents of our scholars, mm -hmm representatives from the schools and it's really a conversation this year's theme was about community service mm -hmm. um, how do you define your community what does that community look like um, and what how can we how do we see community service as an el element of leadership okay right again back to this focus of actually that as a leadership incubator mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So that was what it was about. A um, hundred guests uh, graced the conference. Tell us how you identify the persons that can help you out um, financially or volunteer, or if, say, one wants to become a mentor, one wants to help with the leadership training programs. How does one become involved with Akili Dada? Oh, we are absolutely out there looking for partners. Mm -hmm. um, we are absolutely welcoming of of people who want to join this and, mm -hmm. and support and work with us. Okay. Um, 
to become a mentor, there's an application form. Mm -hmm. If you go to our website, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the first one of the first links you will find mm -hmm. is finding out more about how to become a mentor. Okay. Um, I would absolutely appreciate getting in contact with anyone right. who would like to offer support. As I mentioned, school fees are the most expensive mm -hmm. thing that we do. And because we're committed to really lightening the financial burden, mm -hmm. we offer complete scholarships. Okay. Th that, that adds up. And so, especially to the corporates out there, mm -hmm. this, is, this is something that we're looking out looking okay. out for yes for corporates as well as individuals and you said yes. the website is akilidada.org dot dot okay yes. all right i am informed we have a caller ladies let's take that hello good morning good morning how are you i'm very well thank you how are you i'm good my name is leonard chumo yes leonard i'm uh, calling from nairobi and uh, i just wanted to say i'm proud of akilidada i'm proud of wanjiru mm -hmm. these guys are doing amazing things and we just call on our well wishes to support these guys. Uh, when you support a, a girl or a woman, I think you're supporting the community, and this is amazing. I know them. It's working, mm -hmm. and kudos on you. Thank okay. you. All right. Thank you very much, Leonard, for that. Um, let's take another call. Hello. Good morning. Yeah. Hi. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Okay. Give us your name and question or comment, please. Pardon? Give us your name and question or comment, please. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm calling from Maroc, actually. Yes. So uh, I, I was just watching a your program, and I was wondering, as uh, why don't you guys come to Maroc? Because in my village, I am I, I think I'm the only man who is educated, and all other men are educated, and ladies completely are not educated. Okay. No one is even have gone beyond P7. Uh, so uh, I, I don't know. Okay, all right. We will talk about their reach and um, yeah. just um, where they go and how they identify the girls from all around the country. Let's take another call. Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Um, okay, my name is Mabali from Nairobi. Yes. I was actually calling to ask how, you know, how to sign up for mentorship or support, but I hear you've just answered the question while I was calling. However, I want to say, first of all, um, Dr. Wanjiro, I'm very proud of what it is you're doing. Actually, I am very proud, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm seeing the fruit when I see Angela. Angela, I'm very proud of you. We need more people like you in society. And in fact, just to highlight what uh, Yvonne said uh, about asking why is it female-led or whatever, I, I would never question that because it's a high time women support each other. This is not a question of balance. This is a question of supporting and, and creating mentorship, real mentorship uh, for, for young women so that they grow up saying that my mentor is somebody relevant in this society, not telling me Mariah Carey or which is not a bad thing, but then we need to also build the database of our mentors here in Kenya and we need to have people like Dr. Wanjiro who I think is a mentor of mentors because she took this on her own initiative and as a, her own hobby and I am very willing to support this cause if it means I just find some small money so that she can have some supplies in school I'm very willing to do this and we need more of this and uh, if any corporate is listen to, listening to this they need to also know we are watching them to see if they support such ventures because these are the ones that are meaningful in society so I want to make it clear to any philanthropic organization that we are watching to see any support that they offer to groups like Akili Dada because they have a real impact in society that's all I have to say all right, thank you very much. Uh, very enthusiastic. Thank you for that call. We will still answer Mabalu's question about how she can mentor, even though she was on the phone when we were talking about it. Um, that website again? Akilidada.org. Akilidada.org. Yeah. She talked about women supporting each other. Do you think women do that enough? Enough. Do you think they I can think do the more? key word is enough. Yes. I think we could do more. Uh -huh. Yes, absolutely. Uh -huh. Absolutely. And here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I don't think it needs to be grand. Okay. I think for me, this idea of sisterhood is really important. Mm -hmm. This idea of we've never met before. Mm -hmm. 
but I, your success is my success. Okay. And what's been tremendous, someone mentioning, mentioned about mentors. Mm -hmm. We have tremendous women in this country, mm -hmm. accomplished women. Right. We have women who are doing incredible things, mm -hmm. and not just high-flying, publicity because yes, I think that's the impression we get of yeah. mentors that they would have to be um, popular people who are well known who are personalities not necessarily not necessarily okay not necessarily and part of what we're trying to do is also turn this idea of mentorship on its head so it's not top down mm -hmm. I have learned a lot from Angela okay. I have learned a lot from our scholars mm -hmm. the tenacity that they have mm -hmm. the the, ab the resilience, mm -hmm. the ability to just overcome tremendous odds mm -hmm. and keep their heads up. Yes, I've learned a lot from them. So, so mentorship is something need that's to good, be top down. not only for the one you're mentoring, but for you, the mentor. For you, well. okay. It, um, and any time you have you, you stop and you have to share and think about how did I end up where I am, mm -hmm. that's a valuable process internally. Okay, it's it's. And it's especially if you're able to do it in a way where you you're self-critical mm -hmm. and you can I don't think I'm the end all and be all okay. I can assure you I'm okay. not all right. right I I'm aspiring as well mm -hmm. and I think it's tremendous to have young women know that I am aspiring and to know that they're aspiring and to aspire mm -hmm. together okay. upwards. So it never ends. It Even does though, end. Professor, you still want to, you know, it to definitely end. be more. Angela, are you thinking of mentoring somebody? Do you think one day <laughs> you can be in that position? Like like when Jura mentioned, mentoring is, is both right. ways. Um, mm -hmm. But do you see yourself doing this? Uh, I'm already a mentor. <laughs> okay. Yeah, of course, once you're an alumni after you complete your high school education, mm -hmm. You definitely become a mentor because you have other scholars so we have to guide them like what they need to do to succeed mm -hmm. so it's like you're involved in the process automatically okay yeah how is it like for you now now you've been on both sides of it you were mentored and now you're mentoring um <laughs> what's the experience like on both sides it's really spectrum? nice you know when someone looks up to you like huh ah, yes. you're the one who's guiding me on what i need to do to succeed uh -huh. it's really nice and it's like giving back to them and watching them grow is just the best part of it all. Mm -hmm. When you see someone growing from Form 1 to Form 4 mm -hmm. and they pass really well, mm -hmm. that's the joy. Okay, yeah. just like you did. All mm -hmm. right. We had the gentleman caller from Narok. Um, you mentioned you work with three schools currently. Yes. There's Precious Blood Riruta and the other two are? Laura Tolimuru and okay. the Kenya High School. Okay. And the, the reason that we do that is, again, capacity. Mm -hmm. If we had the funding that uh, th that we Mm -hmm. we could really use, mm -hmm. we would expand and have, I would love to see us expand and have okay. recruitment centers everywhere. Now, the reason we're at the schools that we're at is mm -hmm. Kenya High and Loreto are um, national, national schools. schools. Which so means we have students from across everywhere. the country. And so okay. what ends up happening is mm -hmm. working with those schools has broadened our reach across the country. Mm -hmm. We've got students from Turkana, mm -hmm. from Lodua, Homa Bay, Mokuru Kwanjenga, mm -hmm. Kawangware, mm -hmm. Kangemi, um, okay. young women who grew up as street children, mm -hmm. who, I mean, tremendous stories, mm -hmm. um, tremendous women from across the country. Okay. And so that's the way that we found to expand our reach. Mm -hmm. But yes, uh, uh, we could do more. Okay. Um, in your future plans, how do you hope to grow this to be even bigger, to be even better, to provide better quality, uh, you know, education, to be able to reach more girls? What ideally would you like to see Akili Dada be in the next five years, in the next ten years? Capacity. I'm really focused right now on increasing the organization's capacity, mm -hmm. on moving beyond my passion and my hobby to something that stands on its own. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's that's. That's really important for us, and in important ways, we've accomplished that. Mm -hmm. Now we need to expand our reach. We ab the more scholarships we can give, the the better we will be doing. Mm -hmm. This year, we could only give eight new scholarships. Okay. We had over a hundred incredible young women right. from across the country apply. Right. It's tough because I I, I mm -hmm. personally have to say no, and yeah. that's tough. 
that's a, that's yeah. that's a rough day. Yes, I, I have three very rough days a okay. year, and those okay. are the days where you turn women down who you know need it, need it, deserve it, and would do a lot w with the opportunity if they had it. And so, we're on a drive to raise scholarship funds mm -hmm. as much as possible because that will expand our reach. And we're on a drive to recruit more mentors. And you don't need to be a f high flying. Mm -hmm. um, CEO, CEO. even though we want those as well. Yes, don't, get <laughs> don't get me I'm wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm saying you definitely. We, we, we want to build a culture of women mm -hmm. working with women. Okay. Um, and that's any woman who felt that she's been supported along the way and who wants to do that for the next generation. Mm -hmm. okay. Welcome. All right, can definitely do that. Opportunities, like you mentioned in the beginning, you were very fortunate. Yes. Um, you moved to the U.S. at a very young age, and you had the opportunities to study and, you know, yes. have great exposure and open up your mind, and you had choice, and you said, well, can I do this or can I do that? Yes. To the point you are in your life, and there's many other young girls, like Angela, whom, if you hadn't come along, wouldn't have had that. Um, of course, things will never be equal, and life will never be equal. We won't always have the opportunities. Ideally, what 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 would the best situation be for you, having been privileged enough to get the opportunities that you got, and now seeing other young girls who are deserving, like you're saying, you have to say no. Um, what do you think we can do to bridge this gap and finally have everyone on some equitable footing, if yeah. at all? I know it's very idealistic, but you know, what are your hopes for the future in that regard? I think on a policy level, we, we need to get to a place where access to education is a true right for every Kenyan child. I would love to be in a situation where we're not raising money for scholarships, yeah. right? Okay. Where we can focus on the other components of leadership. Right. That would be, that would be my vision for, for us as a country. Okay. Um, so that's, that's important. And then just to encourage Kenyans to, to, to pay it forward, to not be the first in the room, but mm -hmm. don't remain the only one, okay. whatever, whatever you accomplish. And then I'm, I'm really thankful to our partners already, those, those uh, organizations and individuals mm -hmm. who have believed in the vision before, before it was widely mm -hmm. known, right? Mm -hmm. So we've been in, in existence for six years. Okay. We've been doing this work for six wow. years. Oh, right. And so it's tremendous to have organizations like the International Child Resource Institute, mm -hmm. Zawadi Africa, mm -hmm. Resolution Health, mm -hmm. um, come up alongside us and okay. just... Okay. All right, good. Let's take a phone call. Um, hello, good morning. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you, madam? Fine, thank you. I'm Angela. Yes. I'm very proud of Angela Junior there <laughs> because I'm an old Angela, an old mama. Okay. So please, I'm so happy. I'm so amazed. Uh huh. And uh, congratulations. Keep it up. Okay. Yeah, I I just wanted to prove the website. Uh huh. And work with you, Angela and company. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, please do that. Please visit the website and see how you can support. And maybe share our phone yes. number also. Yes, yes, um, we will do that in just a moment. So let's take another phone call. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning to you. How are you, sir? I'm fine. I'm just a retired from Mandela. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I was with you talking about mentorship, uh, empowering Indian guys, yeah? Uh-huh. Yes, go on. But uh, what I can tell you, mm -hmm. the far end of the country, that's the northeastern, mm -hmm. is never, never uh, getting this program. Okay, um, I do believe your television might be on. Could you just turn that down first so we can, we can talk better? All right, okay. We seem to have lost that caller as well. But I, you know, I gather the impression talking about mentorship from there. Angela called, said she's an old mama, and you said, um, in addition to the website, perhaps you can just give us um, another way to be able to reach you. Um, but before we even do that, let's just wind up first of all with Angela. Yeah. Um, 
the future, what would be your message to everybody else seeing what Akili Dada has done for you mm -hmm. and seeing how, how well it has worked and you know opened up opportunities for you? Uh -huh. What would be your clarion call today to anyone watching who wants to be a mentor, who wants to be able to sponsor or do something for young girls like yourself? Okay, first for all the mentors, either individuals or corporates, mm -hmm. I just want them to think about Akili Dada because it's really deserving. Mm -hmm. I think it turns out from any other organization that offers scholarships to students in that it invests in the children, not about only fees. Mm -hmm. It makes you grow as a person. By the time you're graduating or you're completing your high school education, you're like a different person. Mm -hmm. That's like Wanjiru said, it's an incubator for African women leaders. Okay. We have African perspective, not about okay. Kenyan anymore. Okay. So right. I think for any person who wants to invest in Akili Dada, it's the right thing to do. Okay. The returns right. it has is just amazing okay all yeah right. we do have to leave it at that for now i'm sorry we're short of time but we will take that number from you thank you very much akilidada.org is the name of the website as you can see being a mentor is something that anybody can do www.akilidada.org thank you so much for joining us we will see you again tomorrow bye-bye